My registered number as a police officer in Queensland was 409444, with a kilo bravo on the end to represent the name Kent Green. I commenced official duties on the QPS on February the 8th, 1993, not long after marrying the love of my life. I continued an active service in the QPS from 1993 until 2009, comprising 16 years within the Queensland Police. What an idiot for spending 16 years. <laughs> However, it set me in good stead and I think I've got something to share with you here today. First of all, I'd like to say that as a nation, we have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten where we came from. We've forgotten what our forefathers and our foremothers won for us. More specifically, what our Anzacs and what the veterans of World War II won for us. And what our fathers and mothers back then ensured went into the Constitution of Australia. We're going to go through a few of those things tonight. I want to remind you that, or share with you that a person like me used to think that our rights came from law. You could look it up in a book and see what, where our rights came from. But Don reminded me to us all tonight that our rights come from the fact that we are the sons and daughters of the Almighty God. Yeah. And it doesn't even matter... I've had people call me a dog botherer. <laughs> it doesn't even matter about that. What matters is that when you pick up the Constitution of Australia and read it, you will see that it is written under the Almighty God. And there's a reason for that. That is the way a society becomes the best society that it, that it possibly can be. We love our neighbour as ourselves. We do unto others as we would have them do unto us. And we don't take crap from anyone who wants to break that up. And that's exactly what's happening today. I'm glad that I'm no longer a member of a police force anywhere. I not only served 16 years in Queensland, I served two years in the Northern Territory. So all up 18 years. And when when Doc came to my house to visit for a planning session, she mentioned someone who had pretended to be a police officer and actually wasn't. So I got out my medals and showed her that the medals actually do have my name on them. And that's one of the reasons I wore these here tonight, so that she could know that I genuinely was a police officer. Fast forward six years, from the time I left the Northern Territory Police Force to right now. And what I can tell you is that back then, police services were still behaving honourably. And I'm sure that there are some people within the police services of Australia today who are still behaving honourably. The problem is that by and large, they have been usurped by dictators. I can assure you that the law of our nation describes the actions of our political leaders as nothing more than crimes. We've got two kids dead from the vaccination in Sydney and not a word of it on the news. Okay? If that doesn't wake you up, I don't have words for any, for any of that. I'm a bit overcome with the fact that we've got two kids dead. And that the leader, the so-called leader of our nation... Yeah, I don't need to go further. When you remove the rule of law because the government refuses to follow the law, those laws which have been instituted and ratified and agreed upon by our forebears and ourselves, 
when you remove that law and those leaders use a force, a police force, to enforce criminal activity, you no longer have a country that is under the rule of law. You have a country that is under the rule of thuggery.